Hi everyone, um, I've just got my friend Margaret here who made a very nice looking uh, diorama for her salamander's army that I just kind of wanted to take a look at today and have her just talk a little bit about it and how she made it, so go for it, Margaret. <laughs> and so it's a pretty simple board. The uh, base underneath the board is made from a uh, poster board like what you use in spill products, the stiff stuff. And then it's made with uh, styrofoam. You can use just a straight knife to cut it, just make it look really jagged and matches the theme of lava. The lava itself is made from caulk mixed with a bit of water to spread it around. I wouldn't exactly suggest using that because it's a bit more difficult. Well, how is it difficult? It's If you're not careful, you can get it up onto this and then it kind of ruins that part of the board. And it just, it does not spread very easily. And in my opinion, it make, sometimes it behaves like right over here makes the lava look like lava. <laughs> and then you have times like here, up here on the uh, mound, where it doesn't really look like lava. Eh, I think it looks decent. Um, do you have anything you'd recommend using instead? I mean... Um, unless you have a lot of money and you really like green stuff, because green stuff is preferred. <laughs> but um, I'd say that I haven't really figured out something else to use. So if you want to go the cheap route, caulking will still still do the job. Um, you do definitely do a very good job on the paint job um, of these, uh, you know, the cinders and uh, and ash. It's it looks very realistic, and you, you some of your models have that look too. And it's quite it's actually a quite easy effect to achieve. What you do is you base it with black, or if you're doing it on a model, you skip the black step, and then you use a dark steel type gray. And then you go two steps up from that, so kind of an off-white gray. Mm -hmm. And that will achieve the uh, ashen gray look. Okay. And, um, and of course, you've done, to help match it with the, uh, to help match it with the models, you got the models have kind of that cracked lava look down at their feet, too. Um, actually, those were uh, decided to be salamander honor markings. Okay. So is that, is that, uh, that's fluff cannon that they do that? Mm -hmm. I'm not as up on the salamander. It is fluff cannon that salamanders will put honor markings on their armor to uh, reflect specific battles. So it so it really does kind of fit perfectly with uh, the 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 terrain does fit perfectly with the whole theme and and it it really matches the army very nicely. Um, now what about the dragon? What model is that? Um, it's a reaper miniature. I don't remember the exact name of what it is, but um, it fits with the uh, theme of the board because it is based on their homeworld nocturne. And on Nocturne, they are the apex predators called the Salamanders, where my chapter got their name from. Yep. That live on it. And I know that much. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes the uh, Salamanders do have to uh, deploy set base marines to go hunt some of the uh, drakes that are uh, terrorizing the uh, villages and towns and stuff. Okay. So and um. And you had this. You had this up in the uh, in the game shop for a while on display, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> Did you have all the models tacked down? I know you tacked some of them down here, probably. Um, probably did tack them all down to make sure they didn't get hurt, right? Every model that's on one of these wooden pieces has to be tacked down, just because if it got jostled, they'd fall. Yeah, I did see you do that now. But did you, when you put this on display for the game shop, did you put all of the other models, the ones that are just on the ground, did you tack those on too, since, you know, that's a little more no, dangerous, it's since on... people are going to be looking at the counter and stuff. If it was on the ground, they were fine because it was flat. It was mostly the ones that are in, you know, precarious positions. I didn't want them tumbling and hit the ground. Ah, uh, well, you're rather trusting. I would be worried about someone uh, banging into the table and possibly messing them up. But yeah, I just thought that was really cool. Uh, again, this is Margaret. Um, she's she's a very good painter, too. She, As you can see, she's really, really good at, the, uh, at making her models and her army look nice. And now you're doing Tao, right? So. Yes. <laughs> so, um, so I'm sure when she does the Tau, she'll have some very nice looking Tau <laughs> miniatures too. Um, alright, well that's it. I just wanted to kind of show off that. I thought it was a very nice bit of creativity. You guys have a great day. I uh, hope you enjoyed.